Hello students. In this video, we will see the next example where we are going to use the concept of ICR and find out the velocities of the links that are given to us. This is the next example that we have. In this, we can see that it states rod AB is having an angular velocity of 2 radians per second and it is going counterclockwise. So it is in this direction. Now we will try to understand this mechanism wherein if this rod AB is going like this, this rod, the rod BC is free to move on the surface. So now when this rod, uh, this rod AB is having a counterclockwise rotation, so this rod BC will move towards the right. So that is going to create the velocity in this direction towards the right. So what happens at this point, the B point? This B point is going to have the velocity along this rod BC. So I'll just show you that BC is like BC is going to rotate like this. So B at this instant, the rod AB, I'll have the velocity B perpendicular to rod AB. And the velocity at point C will be along the surface. So this is VC. Now, what I need to do, I need to find out the angular velocity of BC, that is this rod, and the velocity of point C. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate the ICR, that is instantaneous center of rotation. Now how to do that? I know this velocity is going towards upwards in this direction and BC is towards the right. So if I drop a perpendicular from these two velocity points, I'll get and ICR. So first what I'll do is I'll draw the free body diagram or a rough figure for this so that I can determine where my I is going to lie. Now we can see that the velocity in this direction and in this direction, if I drop a perpendicular from these two points, so they are going to meet at this point I over here. So now I need to find out the length IB, I, I mean IC and IB. For that, I can use the sign rule or by any other method that you find convenient. Now, in this case, how I'll be going to do that? So the first thing that I need to do is I need to find out the velocity of this point B. To do that, I know already the angular velocity of rod AB. So I'll just put in over here what is given to me that is 2 radians per second. Okay, so now using this angular velocity, I can find out the velocity of B. That would be easy for me to find out the velocity of B. That is VB is R omega AB. R is given to me as 0.3 meters. So now by just using this rod AB, that is AB, I have the angular velocity as 2 radians per second. I was able to calculate the velocity of point B. Now this velocity B will be same with respect 
to the whole system. So that is, if BC is going in this direction, the, the angular velocity of BC will be again counterclockwise. So this will be omega BC. Now using this omega BC, I should get the same value for velocity at point B. So again, if I write the relation, VB is equal to R omega BC. In this case, my R is going to change. R is changing as in what? In the previous case, wherein I took omega AB, R was the length AB. Now, if I'm taking the whole system, omega BC, I need to find out the length IB. That will be my R for this velocity. So, in this case, both are unknown for me. I can find out IB, that is this length IB. Now, how to find out this length IB? I know this angle is 40 degrees. So, this is going to be 50. This is 90 over here. So this will be 40 degrees. So the inside angles of this triangle IBC will be 180 degrees. BC we already know happens to be 0.5 meters. I can get value of IB and IC from this relation. that will be 0.6 equal to IB length that I got was 0.595 meters. So, Omega BC we will get as 1 radians per second. Now we have got the omega BC that is the angular velocity for the rod BC. Now using the same angular velocity I can find out the velocity of this point that is C. So now you can see that I've got the velocity for point C as well by using the relation VC equal to R omega BC. R over here is the distance IC that is from instantaneous center to this point. I got it as 0.77 meters and omega BC I calculated as 1 radian per second. So using this values if I substitute over here I'm getting the velocity at point C as 0.77 meters per second. So, as the question had, determine the angular velocity of rod BC 
So I got the rod BC angular velocity as 1 radian per second and the next part was I need to find out the velocity at point C. So even I got that velocity as 0.7 meters per second. I hope this example was easy for you. Thank you.